What's good YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Lost Fitness. Today we've got a push workout, a juicy push workout. I'm excited, I'm pumped for this workout. It's gonna be a mad thing. Um, gonna have so bad a camera recording it. Um, yeah, so sit back, relax, enjoy the workout. We're ready to conquer this workout, make some games, let's go. First thing you gotta do is warm up, remember to warm up. Um, but first, gotta get that tune, you know what I'm saying? Like, right tune. Show the tune, show the tune. So, right here, this song. This is the song that gets me going. Every time I come to the gym, first tune. So, here we are. We are starting off with 25s, so we're just gonna warm up. Now, with the warm up, you can do it in different ways. One, you can go on the treadmill and just like loosen up your joints and everything keep it warm for like five minutes five to ten minutes up to you or you can use the light weight for the exercise you are performing and just work that out or you could do push-ups um to warm up the chest and the joints around the chest and the elbows and stuff up to you so here's my first working set now we're currently six weeks into this program and which means the reps are probably going up um, the, the sets all that stuff good stuff it's changing it's not the same as the beginning we are trying to make progress trying to progressive overload so that means heavy ass weight which is 42s and i'm not gonna lie in this session the 42s felt pretty light uh, <laughs> i think it was the pizza that i had normally i'm mainly keto most of the year but this time for this workout i was like you know what i'm tired of the keto diet i'm trying to get stronger um, I could see the first like, five weeks my strength was going up but at the same time I was like I can do better than this and carbs is a really good energy source and when I juked up that pizza came to the gym these 42s felt like butter um, I think I did like six working sets seven working sets um, I don't do that whole three sets and then move on to the next exercise no more for me three sets is not enough not even nowhere near enough volume um, I just feel like it's a warm-up pretty much so i'm around the four to six sets at the moment when it comes to exercises um that's when i feel good here we are doing the military press this first set i'm just like mm. watching it back now i'm like mm, i could have tucked my elbows in a bit more um but of course that's not the only set we do i think that was my first set but as you can see here i'm going really tucking my elbows in and it felt easier um so the form really counts but yeah military press again that was an exercise i'd never used to do but i decided to force it into this program take myself out of my comfort zone and really work on my weak points and my shoulders have developed a lot um this last year year and a half when i've really put more focus onto them i've really seen changes in my shoulders and lats those are probably the two main areas that i've really been focused on um, developing my abdominal wall is something i do need to do i do have fairly weak abs so when i do things like crunches and stuff i tend to get ab cr cramps really fast or just i can't do that many reps so my ab strength it definitely needs to go up although you do train your abs when you're doing like deadlift squats all that stuff but like isolate them and actually put work into them is something that i definitely need to consider and put more focus on um here yeah, as you can see now we're up to 27.5 kg when it comes to the cable flies um i used to be around 15 i think when we first started the program i started at like 17.5 so that's almost like a 10 kg increase in like six weeks um i'm not saying that's because obviously uh, I've, I've gained a ton of strength i've gained like 10 kg worth of strength no um i didn't want to start the program crazy heavy um and then not be able to make progress so but i didn't start too light i started at a decent weight i was like when i get to around seven eight reps the struggle starts to kick in um, and obviously when it comes to strength building you want to keep your rep range between four and eight reps eight at max you want to keep it between four and six obviously to gain strength but four and eight max i say eight max um but yeah that's that's pretty much it this one I, I always say this to people i'm like when it comes to gaining strength you're gonna have to put in some cheap reps like not everything's gonna look clean and smooth and perfect rep of course you want to keep the the form as as crisp as you can 
but you will have to use a little bit of momentum and stuff in order to cause more muscle damage and really take you know take it to the next level and grow so some cheat reps have to be performed um but obviously you want to try and get as many clean reps as you can um, but yeah that's just the tip that i give people when they ask me like how am i going to get stronger and stuff but i'm going to lose my form i'm like it's part of the game you're going to have to use some sort of momentum eventually or you know going to have like one or two cheat reps or one or two assisted reps if you're training with someone someone helping you like bench press when you get normally like six by yourself now that you're training with someone you're probably going to bump that up to like eight and two of them are probably going to be you know spotted um, but over time that's definitely going to help you to, if you're doing that every week those two extra reps soon you'll be bagging out eight reps for yourself so that's why i suggest training with someone or if you're training by yourself use that momentum every now and then if you're trying to get bigger and stronger um, as you can see here i am dead finished kaput done just done so that's the workout complete. Now I'm about to show you guys the physique update. It's gonna be no music because this music is a copyright strike. But yeah, let me show you guys what I'll be looking like six weeks in the new program. So this is six weeks in here. I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm currently looking like. I'm not showing my legs, but I'll just show you my upper body. Um, as you can see, I store most of my body fat in my lower section, like lower part of my upper body. So my abs section, mid section, um, and lower back, those i never tended to put on weight like in my love handles and stuff like that which is something i know about myself so it doesn't phase me anymore because i know that once i start dieting down and stuff I'll, it, will, it will go um of course it takes a lot of work so that's why with this let's say muscle gaining phase i haven't gone too crazy with my um, calories and the food that i'm eating normally i go overboard have cheat meals like every day but this one i'm keeping it fairly clean and everything and i'm just increasing my meal portions um and everything's mainly cooked at home as well i don't eat out like that so yeah just wanted to give you guys a tip about everyone holds their body fat in different areas so yeah that's how we're looking like basically yeah feeling good good progress six more weeks let's see how wide we can get six more weeks i'm not actually counting my calories right now i'm just training to train um but yeah training to get wham so i'm eating a lot of food so hopefully in the next six weeks i'll put a bit more size Fine. Let's go. Love life. Love life. Love.